Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about something I don't really talk about, but want to talk about more on my channel, which is my testimony and how I got closer to Jesus Christ and how I'm letting him guide my life. By the way, this whole thing is scripted because if I didn't script this video, it was going to be a mess. So in case you guys see me looking down a lot, it's because I'm looking at my Chromebook because yeah, I'd be all over the place if I didn't have a plan. So now I know that a lot of people might not agree with Christianity, but in my personal opinion, giving my life to Christ was and has been the best decision of my whole life because he has helped me in ways that have really helped me and the relationships with the people I have in school and all that. So when I was like two, three, maybe four years old, me, my brother, and my cousins got baptized. But it wasn't like a baptism where we had to lay back in the water and um like in front of a bunch of people instead we just got water in a little bowl on our heads um only our heads which it kind of made sense because we were babies and toddlers but i don't even remember it because i was little and we only have it on videotape then up to the ages of four and seven years old me and my family were always going to church we'd be at church almost every weekend um through my mom's bible study christmas halloween easter etc we were quite involved so we did a lot more than we have been then from ages 8 to 13 we stopped going a lot since at that time period when i was 11 my youngest brother was born and when i was 12 my grandma passed away due to cancer we would go to church here and there but not as frequently as we used to so we kind of stopped going didn't really do a lot about that type of thing. When I was 10, I gave my life to Christ and accepted him as my Lord and Savior, which was great, but somehow I still felt disconnected from God, which I was. And now jumping back to when I was 12, I would pray and go to church camps, but still something felt off. So I would go to church, I would like this middle school group, and I would go to these church camps, but I still wasn't quite feeling that relationship with God like I'm supposed to. I had gotten into some things that I shouldn't have gone into, which I will not go into detail about, but it was a rough time for me and I had felt trapped, like I felt like I couldn't really get out of it. And when my grandma passed, I felt really bad, like lost and I would cry every night out of grief and anger that I was feeling with the whole experience and everything um when I wasn't praying to God to help me get through it all so I was going to all this stuff instead of going to the one thing that can really help I would have talked to my parents but instead go to my habits which still made me feel worse because it wasn't what I needed I needed God but at that time what I was into was better than that to me. When I was 13, I'd be doing the same thing because I was further from God than I had thought. So still in the bad habits, not doing what I was supposed to. Um, yeah, it, was, it wasn't good. Um, so back in January, I had liked this boy when I was also 13. I had told him that I liked him, and he suggested we hang out. So I convinced my parents to say yes, and when they did, I said sure. We hung out at an arcade with some other friends that we had brought along, but I had a weird feeling the whole time, like something fell off, something did not feel right. Um, after the hangout, something in my stomach fell off. I'm like, this isn't, this isn't right. Something in my mind felt weird, like this just isn't going good and also in my heart I'm like yeah this no and later that night he rejected me so I was definitely sad and thought god why did this happen to me like we got this far and now this like 
when soon, a few months later, when I had time to think and come back to my senses, I realized God was only trying to protect me from a boy who didn't even like me for who I am. Like, so now I say thank you, God. I say thank you for, um, thank you for saving me, like, from something that could have hurt me way more than just getting rejected. Same with a few years ago, stuff was going on with my family, stuff that was unexpected, um, and I thought my family was ruined because of what was going on. I thought, like, great, this, now this, um, until God saved it and brought us back together. He was like, nope, this cannot happen, um, you guys need to stay together, which I know lots of people go through different situations, but I'm really, really thankful that that ended the way it did. So I also say thank you God to that. God's made miracles in my life I once took for granted, but now all I can tell him is thank you. He deserves all my praise in my life. The spring and summer of 2024 for me have been very difficult. Still in my bad habits, feeling caught up with my thoughts, which is when I finally said enough's enough and told my parents in July. It was very scary and difficult for me to tell them my problem, but hearing them say they understood me really helped. Now I've re-given my life to Christ and repented of my sins, which I still do because we all mess up and we all need to ask for forgiveness. One thing I do now that I didn't do much was read my Bible. Uh, I do a bit every night. I'm trying to do a little more, but I sometimes get really tired, so I kind of like skip it. Most nights I do, but it's the closest to God I've ever been in my whole life. I also try to share the gospel with the people I love and care about since it's important and I want to see them in heaven with me for eternity. I also pray for them, asking God to just help me help them um, with their relationship with Jesus Christ in any way I can. So I've come to, from my darkest times to my brightest times, all thanks to God. I still have bad days, but with my faith, trust, in his glory and forgiveness, etc., I get through it each day. And if God can do that for me, he can do that for you too. God loves you. He sent his one and only son to die for us. So we're not banished to hell for eternity. Could you imagine being in hell for eternity? I couldn't. It's awful. All you have to do is trust him. Give your life to him. And let him show you how good he really is. Read his word and get to know him. He wants a relationship with you because he loves you. To conclude this video, I just wanted to say thank you so much for watching if you've made it this far. Know that God loves you and his arms are ready and open for you to run into. Like and subscribe if you want, and I'll see you all next time. Bye.